Hello and thanks for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be the number four Java tutorial and what we're going to do today is talk about how to do for loops and go over a couple quick demonstrations. So one of the things that you'll notice with for loops is you have three different sections here. You have, let me fix that, uh, you have the first section of a for statement. So your for statement is for and then open parentheses and then in this case so we're setting an integer here and we're setting the value to 1. So that's the first section of the for loop. We set the initial value of the variable. So that's where the loop starts uh, its base at. Then the next thing we test the condition. So in here we're saying i is less than or equal to 20. So this loop will continually run until this is met, this condition is met. So in this case i starts at 1, it it um, will not stop until it's equal to or uh, 20 in this case. And then the third section of the for loop is how to update the counter. So over here we start at 1 and then what do we do every loop? We increment it by 1 and that's the i, in this case the variables i, plus plus means increment by 1. And I'll walk through some other demonstrations of how to increment by different values. And then what we do is we're going to system.out.println and then in parentheses we just put i. Notice no quotes in here. Um, we're not doing any, any text strings so it's just strictly the variable. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go into Eclipse. I'm going to go into my package tutorials and I'm going to go new, create new, create a class and I'm going to call it for loop. And I'm going to go ahead again and I'm going to set the method stub here, the public static void uh, mainline. And there I've got my got my class. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do four open parentheses. And what am I going to do? I'm going to set integer i is equal to one. Then I do a semicolon. Now I hit my second condition. Now I want to set i I'm going to set to less than or equal to 20 in this case, then another semicolon. And then how do I want to increment i? I want to do i plus plus, which is increment by 1. And then I come over here and I do a, another open bracket. And then I do system dot out. I'm going to show you a shortcut here actually. If you type syso and then hold down the control key and hit tab, do SYSO, hold down the control key and hit tab, it will automatically put system.out.println in there for you because it's a pretty common line so it's just a shortcut. Again, SYSO, hold down the control key and hit tab and it should auto fill that in for you. Now I'm going to go ahead and put I there and now you'll see, uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and save that so I'm going to do control S and now I'm going to go ahead and run it I'm going to go ahead and this time I'm going to go ahead and right click it and say run as. I want to run it as a Java application. And there if we look at the console output, you can see I'll scroll up from the bottom. You can see it's at 20 all the way back to 1. So now we can do a couple different things here. One is I can start at a different value if I want to. For example, if I wanted to start at 5, I could start it at 5. I'm going to go ahead and run that and just show you what will happen. I'm going to save those changes obviously. Now if I scroll back now I can see it starts incrementing at 5. So I'm going to change this back to 1 and then I'm going to go over here and instead of incrementing by 1 I'm going to do i plus equals and now I'm going to do 2 and what that does is that's going to increment instead of by 1 it's going to increment by 2. If I wanted to increment by 5 I would change it like that. Okay so I'm going to do 2 and let's go ahead and run that again and make sure that works. I'm going to save it. And now you can see over here, I started at 1, and now I go 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And now you'll notice it stops at 19 because it goes to 20. It met the condition here. It Once it hits that 20 value, it's going to stop. So it didn't make it to 21. So in this case, we might want to change it to start at 2. I'm going to run it again. Now it should be, now it should come up. I'm going to save it. And now you can see it, it counts in increments of two. 
And the final thing that I want to share with you here, let me change it to a lower value here. Let me change this to 10. And I'm going to change this. We've been doing in the first couple of examples, we've been doing print line. And what that means is it prints out everything on a line. Um, and like, for example, the variable, it prints line by line by line. So now if I just change this to system.out.print and I run that, let me show you what will happen here. I'm going to save it. And now you can see what happened. It put them all together, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So you can see what the difference between print and print line is. So that's all I wanted to share with you on that. And um, that's all I really wanted to share with you on the for loops is to walk through those examples so you understood how they work. And again, that's initialize it. What's the test that we're going to run against? And what's the incremental value that we're running here? And then in this case, we're just going to print it out. All right. So thanks for joining. Please subscribe. Take care.